Okay, so hello everyone. So we are all sorted with the recording. The recording has started. First of all, good evening everyone. And thank you very much for joining in today's session. I know it's a holiday everywhere. But then I really wanted to have this session going on consistently. Tomorrow also we have session. And every weekend, right now we want to start off with multi-sessions. So just to give you all a background, we have four, uh, I would say domains divisions that we have done we have the iga session division we have the access management session division we have the pam session and then we have the pressure and interview prep session divisions okay so every division has been assigned a lead we'll do announcement by next week who manages what and every weekend you will see a mix and match of um, sessions from these four different divisions okay or different areas so this week it was the interview prep and tomorrow uh, we are working with the team to identify what sessions we'll have. But tomorrow also we'll have sessions. Every Saturday and Sunday you can expect some or the other session um, based on the different divisions and the domains that we that I just discussed. Okay. So to begin with, to give you introduction about today's um, session in brief, Raghavan who has <clears throat> been um, uh, kind of giving interviews for uh, various companies. And then uh, it's not recently, but then it's been almost a month or so. He cleared the interview. And when I heard about his interview experience, he did have his set of uh, challenges in the beginning. Uh, and then there were some element of how we were doing sessions on the community. And that has also helped him a little bit in terms of helping him uh, go through his interview prep. And then when he attempted his um, current company's interview, he was able to clear it on the go. So this session is all about, uh, I will start off with Raghavan giving his uh, overview of what is his experience, uh, various companies that he has given interviews for, for and then how uh, this recent interview that he gave has actually, uh, I mean, he was able to crack that. And uh, I have few questions during the interaction, which I'll ask, then we will Maybe after 30 minutes, we'll open this for everyone to start asking questions. And then I will, towards the end, we also, I see Praveen, uh, Alka, Ish. Uh, I would really want to hear it from Ish also and his experience. And there are a lot of folks. We can open up at least 30 minutes for everyone to share their experience. Okay. So with this, uh, Raghavan, we can start off with your introduction and then you can start off from there thank you yeah sure thanks ravi so yeah hi everyone uh stop ravi just giving a welcome to everyone who are already in our community and also if we have a new journals uh, great welcome you all so yeah so my experience i have around three years of experience previously I was in hcl and currently i just moved on uh, with Accenture, just is it's two years back sorry two months back um so my so before Accenture, i i have attended i think three plus companies first is ajo cyber security and second one is uh, ey third one is kind of startup company in chennai i'm not remember the company name but yeah last one is tcs the, the third one is Accenture. Again, after Accenture, I received a call from TCS. That also I cracked, but I not accepted that offer because I already onboarded in Accenture. So yeah, this is about uh, my, my interviews, company details. And yeah, so now I'm just going to share my experience with you guys. So first, I want to start, start with... Uh... <coughs> one second, guys. Yeah, first I want to start with what are the uh, questions uh, based on the companies like you no know, what my my I expect and like you know what I my analysis is so not everyone is not going to ask uh, same questions. If companies have different expectations, for example, how does how cyber security that is I uh, like I think. Um, for the three years of experience, my profile is short shortlisted, but the question was, uh, it's like an expert level, like four years, five years of uh, experience people, what they were the question should ask to the four to five years people, but the, that question was comes to me. So yeah, might be that why I, I like, you know, I rejected and then the second one is the UI. 
he was yeah he was a kind of good interview experience because of that only i i no i i i know i, I knew that what how to i prepare what are the questions i should be prepared then then only i have prepared for accenture so yeah come this uh, this uh, for example ui will expect uh, for for senior senior people also they are not my as my my as my analyst senior people also they are not expecting much but we should be strong on basic that's what they are expecting then the tcs yeah tcs wow, my question was what currently i am doing i am i have clear knowledge on that what currently i am doing for example hcl they were asked what i did in my current company like previous company hcl so i just explained okay these are the things i wow, i was doing there they are asking how this working in back end they are just checked my uh, my skills on my working things i have just clicking the buttons or really i know the process they just checked that then they selected me then finally accenture accenture yeah this is a kind of the good experience because uh, they you no know, they allotted much time for me for example the interview schedule for 30 minutes only but it went to 45 minutes they got all the points from me, even it's a small small things also so that is the one thing to impress them if it's just a small points we may think like you no know, this, this is just nothing we can skip it like that but we have to explain all that is the one of the key point of impress them so then yeah so then uh, expectations from the interviewer is for example if the question is like what is ml sso we just do not say like this is this is like uh, how it is working so this, uh, for example this is a uh, one time login uh, like that we just do not simply explain we have to explain how it is work also the configuration we, we have to talk about the configuration we, we do not never like we do not stop how just how it is working we have to if the question maybe the question like uh, they may they ask the question like how it's working just how it's working but we do not stop that like we do not stop when explaining how it is working after explain we have to explain all the things like how it is working what are the configuration what are the services will be in that okay yeah so this is the one key point like you know, whenever what is the question may be very simple question for example how uh, what what is our back role based access control we do not just mention role based access control is is working you know is giving access using the roles user groups and the entitlements or entitlement groups we do not we do not stop here we have to continue how what is entitlement what is entitlement and user groups uh, how it is uh, how how it is working from back end uh you know uh, what what are the attributes are needed so we have to complete you no know, overall topic we do not just so one thing ragavan sorry to interrupt i yeah. just want to go a little bit back okay and mm -hmm. then start off with when you said basics because i hear that a lot from some of the other uh, interviewers also who have mm -hmm. taken interview that a lot of the time candidates lack the basics okay so when you say basics right can you point out what are they actually expecting so one time maybe you are not able to answer the basics or that could be one of the rejection right but when you cleared and you knew the knowledge about basics what were like four things or four to five things if you can go a little bit in detail let's say in the access management world what are the basics that is expected here okay so for example everyone know how to onboard the 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 auth auth applications right mm -hmm. auth or any, any such applications so you know previously what mistake i did i know okay we you know if we click a create application like application will be created uh, we have to go here to enable the scopes we have to go go here to you know services i know this i know okay these are options here Uh, we have to click that we have to click that i know this but what is the purpose of creating applications how it is working when we created the application what next what is the on the in the the created application which we created the application what mm -hmm. the developments or developments teams are doing that now what is the use of the grant types what is the use of the response type what is the uh, what is the authentication method uh, for if it's a if it's a client credentials what are the response type and grant type should be there what is the purpose of the grant type and response type so this this other things are not not critical we have to learn easily the mistake i did is i i i not analyzed these things 
for example i join because i just followed okay we have to go here we have to click here click that we have to register this then application will be created then we have to the here will here the client the client id and client secret will be here we just to copy and we have to share to the client that's it my I, the mistake i did is mm -hmm. i not analyzed what is the purpose of doing this what is happening okay, so, in that hmm, so you are onboarding an app so why you are onboarding when you use saml when you use oauth in oauth also how that flow is working what happens in the back end is that what you mean by the basic questions yeah, exactly okay 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 and uh, do you get <clears throat> uh, so now these are some of the basic range right now when you say shared roles and responsibilities you are talking about your roles and responsibilities and over there also they were asking about back end can you tell me one or two scenarios that you explained in your roles and responsibility I mean, roles, which which one you are asking? Which roles? So when you, when they ask you about your day to day roles and responsibilities, right? What mm, were some okay. of the roles and responsibilities you talked about, and how deep they went? Okay, so they are okay. First first thing we are working working to resolve the everyone hope everyone working working on resolve the incidents, no incident and supporting people. That is, I I never faced any questions from you are working on incident or not like that. They are respect. the the knowledge from the standard things for example if it is a service task that is a such a regular thing for a business so uh, you know for a business mean definitely it it would have the uh, you know uh, configuration at least touch with configuration so that what they are expecting for example if my you know for example if i'm going to create any database or any uh, any user account that the user account is a uh, Uh, if the if that user raised some some other that other is a sensitive, so in that case I you know uh, do not give the answers directly. You have to follow the process. Then only for 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 process means that definitely that request should go for an approval. There you no know, uh, the lead should should review and should approve. So then I I should provide the assess. Then only I should provide the assess. So I have to focus on the process. The the task is comes along with the process. The task is from the processed with the proper process or not. The approval is prop approval comes from the proper peoples or not. So I have to uh, you know follow from the process also because process mm -hmm. is the most important thing, right? When when we are we are going for implementation or anything, process every company have some different set of process. and rules they are following that is the main thing the first one is that that one that is the kind of rules like that is our responsibility right so to you know to monitor all the requests it mm -hmm. comes with the proper uh, you no know, proper processing with proper approval that is the first thing second thing uh, when if i'm going to give access uh, i have i have to know like no i have to prepare myself for such a list okay these are the things are sensitive or such like that so they are expecting roles and responsibility means they give, if i am doing regularly uh, giving the assessment they are expecting how uh, no uh, they are expecting to explain me from full uh, start from the end like the, this is the process the starts then i have to go to the tool i have to give the assess i have to you know give this entitlement entitlements for this assess for example uh, sales force Uh, if the salesforce is there i have to provide the salesforce user groups and the salesforce entitlements to the users then i have to connect user and the user, the provided access you know provided access is correct or not or uh, mistake i did i mistake like give any other access that will impact the business right so uh, i have to connect with uh, user and i have to verify it then at the end of the day only i should deliver so this is what they are expecting of you know our responsibility as a roles everyone know we have to be a part of this, this team this is our role we got to do but the responsibility this, this thing they are expecting okay and uh, moving on because one of the thing based on some of the experiences that i have heard from people right they do ask about use cases okay have you worked on let's say installation migration upgrade upgrade and all of that right yeah exactly so what are some of you based on your experience you have seen your use cases that has been asked to you okay yeah, they so the question for me also that is that you work on the migrations and the, the what are the implementation things you have worked and then you know uh, uh, do you know the scripting so these things yeah you know that <coughs> so you no know, migration they, they are not asking what is this migration they are not uh, you know uh, pointing any migration 
they are asking <coughs> commonly do you have any working experience on the migration so previously when i am i was initially started with my career with the ping federate the currently then i would there was a migration ping federate to ping one i just explained uh, you know uh, what are the ping one ping federate conf configurations on what are the things will be on ping federate for example idp and sp connection will be there uh, for ping one there will be idp sp connection is there will you know there is there is no idp and sp connection for ping one so these are the things i explained just i explained like you no know, these things will be in ping fed this ping things will be on ping one uh, uh, the same thing we got we got we got no uh, we got to on bo migrate the all the ping fed applications to the ping one so these things i just explained they are not pointing any migrations they are asking if we have any migration experience just share to share that also we have to share we, we do not just share like i i i yes, i have experience with ping fed to ping one we do not just share like that we have to explain i have experience on the no i have experience on the migration that is ping fed to ping one so this was i this what i was uh, uh, onboarding the ping fed application to the ping one uh, i was registering the new gateways i was registering the uh, new asp connections like that so explain no uh, top to bottom top to okay. bottom it can be simple thing it can be just simple it it can no it, it no need of deep explanation how this migration is working but what are the things are we are migration that is enough okay and what all other use cases that has been asked to you um, like in general in the interview process right one was mm -hmm. basics then they ask about roles and responsibilities like okay. how <clears throat> do they go after that do they ask about what do you see on the logs how you troubleshoot do you have these set of questions yeah exactly the question is not like that but what they the question is uh, which one you face the critical problem you know which which is the uh, you know uh, which is the critical thing you resolve mm -hmm. with the, the question was like that so we can take any you know any such any such thing which is we learned newly uh, some prior level we can explain that for example i you know there was when uh, for example when i was in when i was in ping fed certificate renewal there was a vendor certificate vendor certificate so vendor certificate we also have it have to enable from our and also vendor have their side uh their business server they also have to enable on there the both should sync then only the application will work so in this case what happens the signature will be changed on every 10 years the certificate signature will be changed on every 10 years so what the vendor for you no know, the also the vendor side uh so they didn't noted that <coughs> but we changed our signature but they didn't noted that so because that that the application was uh, impacted uh there was a more than one week analysis no one unable to find what is the issue then we involved with the engineering uh, <coughs> there is identity engineering so they involved and they just uh, they also have taken time to find one one, one week plus so then finally they find then we have provided this details to the vendor then vendors was updated the certificate sorry the signature on the certificate then finally it was updated so this was some kind of critical thing i faced then i just explained uh, to them also you talked about the locks yeah so about the locks also we they are not asking any you know like any any point they are not pointing the locks they are just checking how to check the locks we can take okay. i just what i did i just take a one scenario uh, you no know, for example application impacted uh, due to i no ip version the incorrect ip version enabled so i just explained okay this is what i was find in the the pre the, there was a non prod environment is there i in the non prod environment it's working fine yeah there i just find the ip version is this is working and the production i in the production is different now also in the production i check the previous log previous logs and the non prod environment logs are same but currently mm -hmm. production logs are changed i just found that uh no i because of locks i just found that and just explained and we fixed that issue it's a kind of exp, uh, no example okay okay <clears throat> and then i have seen a lot of uh, folks right who have worked on worked on support roles now they have not uh, done very deep troubleshooting right so uh do you have experiences or maybe you have uh, can you help with some tips that people can uh, do to inculcate this habit let's say i'm working in support i have not done deep troubleshooting so how do i uh, learn something maybe with a senior or 
by setting up a lab and also try to explain that in these interviews especially on the troubleshooting part okay so first thing i will you know i will explain um to you know how to gain a knowledge on troubleshooting so first thing in the if we are in support uh, everyone will work on the incidents right the tickets right so the tickets will have lots of different different issues uh you know the issues will comes from the user and also the application end so as per the my experience what i did in previous company hcl uh, i assigned every ticket if that ticket is i know or not i can i, I know i can handle or not whatever i will you know i will uh, assign the ticket i will assign the multiple tickets i will work on work on the same time in multiple ticket parallelly so uh, you know, because of that i was able to learn a lot on the troubleshooting for if it's application definitely if it's application issue there will definitely we are if it's application issue means definitely we are going to uh, learn learn a good troubleshooting so you uh, know from the server or tools or anything mm-hmm. so this is a kind of just tips to uh, you know gain uh, gain the knowledge on the troubleshooting as in the multiple tickets if you guys are know or don't know as in do analysis uh, you know So check with our you know we have the a lot of you know we have the lot of source to learn uh, you know we have the cover community or google is there any different lot of sources there just go search try to analyze uh, we have non prod first go to the non prod on production uh, try to check there then you no know, then get in touch with your uh, your senior peoples so this is a kind of you no know, then learn so this is a kind of my tips to gain your knowledge on the troubleshooting so then you know how to you know uh, you know work on the troubleshooting the first thing as i already told the everything is the you know, first source from non production so that is a kind of good, good habit to avoid the business impact so yeah that are the same thing i did uh, for example first thing is to for the troubleshooting first thing is uh, we have we should able to know we should know how to check the logs the second thing we know in the server we have list of services for example kafka services there will be core services <laughs> so before that we have to know if the application issue with uh, for example if you have, if is the application issue with an intermediate this if you have no intermediate issue the, that is connected with everyone know most of the configuration will be connected with the core no core services that's what i'm saying like we have to know what kind of for, for no for different different issues which service we have to check if you know for example intermediate issue we have to check the core log core logs uh, for example this is a login issue we have to you know check which servers are uh, having the the login configuration the initial configurations um, if it's the issue we issue on the application the end of the like you know end of the service like we are some when we are submitting the res issue means we have to there will be a specific server for that and specific service for that we have to check that with that log that server logs this is a kind of one tip then you know then we have to check the logs uh, what is we have to check the previous log what is the the previous configuration what is the current configuration there will definitely there will be error where is get where it is getting error uh, the same thing compare with the non production So, no the mostly the uh, the non production some some the there is a cc will be there right so non production production will have some same configuration compare with so check the what is different then no then try try to find the analyst then found the issue then check what is the troubleshoot for that what is the troubleshoot steps for that then then do the troubleshoot then fix it okay this is really a um, good way in which you have laid this out uh, raghavan thank you very much um i do have uh, maybe one or two more question mm-hmm. one is what are some of the resources that you used during your preparation apart from um the fact that you were working but what were different resources that you have used for the preparation okay so yeah first initially actually uh, uh, no uh, when i when i interviewed interviewed by the ajovs and ey i not did much preparation i just went with my current experience what i'm doing so i thought that is enough but definitely if that is not enough for just just for me just just saying to everyone so after that only after he interviewed by ey i just know okay these are the things i you know i i want to learn i want to gain my knowledge on these things 
so just i i know just analyze that then i came to first first thing what i did i just came to our community there is a recording videos is there right there is one one page is there in that there is a recording videos just i think this is updated ravi the currently is still updating no no that i have not done i am actually finding the link so once okay. i find that entire thing right or else i'll have to put it together i'll i'll try to do it in few days okay whatever yeah but, but the basics of that that, that is you no know, as a, what are the videos are currently there that is enough for the you no know, basics like that is enough to start the our learning <coughs> we have to start there <coughs> what i also did the same uh, i just started from that only i just there is a basics videos is there i think there will be a ping fate <coughs> and the sso how the samal works everything is there i think 10 Ten plus videos is there. Yeah, yeah, it's there uh, on the YouTube right now. Yeah, YouTube. yeah, exactly. I just learn. I just started my learning from that. Uh, then I, I just uh, per day. I don't. I even I not take much time for that. Like I just per day. I I clearly learned one video. If I'm watching one video per day, I was taken notes. Uh, if I'm unable to understand anything, I was revise the videos again. So I because those are the basics. I have to be. no uh, confidence and uh, to be strong on those topics so first thing i did is the <coughs> i i went there i just watched those videos first i was unable to understand anything or find able to get anything i was watch that videos again wherever i'm uh, no i have doubts that is not covered in that video what i did i just went, google it i just went to youtube the specific part, part i learned <coughs> from the their outsource and and just taken the notes and i just uh, you know uh, i include you know, uh, because i in the our community videos i already having the notes i just added those out resource notes from um, to continue of that uh, same notes then i cover the topic so this is the first thing i did the second thing uh, there is a copilot option is there in the the microsoft edge is there right the, there is a copilot option uh, you know the, uh, i think everyone know copilot it's like a chat gpt but i'm not when chatgpt copilot is very comfortable for me i think hope you guys also will be comfortable yeah, for that yeah that's a free tool yeah, exactly so yeah i just went went there uh, i just uh, type type what are the topics i want because in the video we were like uh, for example samal as well you also covered the samal as well i had taken notes after watched your uh, video <laughs> then i went to copilot and just said samal as well and there will be a points i compared your video and the same notes comes from the copilot i just compared and so because of that i got a clear uh, understanding on on those topics that is the second uh, support for me uh, third thing as usual <coughs> we are i think every most of the people see here currently employ compare with our currently what we are working for example about the an uh, application onboarding end of the day application onboarding will connect with the uh, you know, authentication right so how that is working so compare with the currently what we are working that the same thing so you know these are this is the source i i will grow my knowledge okay and okay and uh, one last question mm-hmm. ragun how has the community helped you apart from the videos and all because initially i remember we have almost done around 25 sessions right at least in the last before the event uh, and we are trying to come back to the same streak but how has the community helped you and uh, uh, i mean in in your all overall journey and has this made any impact in your uh, current the way you are uh, looking into iem as a do- yeah so community how helps you, you know this is a um, kind of you no know, um, you know um, because everyone know everyone in the community how the because our chat is daily active daily people are asking their question daily people are posting their their you no know, their vacancy or anything the, our community is a kind of <laughs> we, we do not just say it's a, just a community you know, our community is a kind of special thing always because everyone is here everyone is a supporting mind first thing i think you i have connected with you for some times right so first thing uh, ravi uh, 
uh he helped me a lot like you know uh, he he spends sometimes especially for me especially means uh, if i if i want spend time with him or uh, like if i want to check with him anything he is ready to help me all all time that is always he is ready to help that is yeah you know not only me if you guys also want to uh, connect with him or clear you no know, check check for thing like uh, even ravi guided me how to build our resume you no know, ravi guided me from from basics then how to prepare for your interviews this also comes from ravi to me you no know, this is like you no know, our community is not a just community it's a biggest and strong support to everyone so our community is really such a awesome man this is not we can not just say in words in, thank you very much I, yeah good good when i join hcl i don't know these are the things can you know these are things we can do i don't know anything because of our community only it learned a lot even i know i don't know when i join hcl i you know I, i was working on the ping fed ping one and cm only i don't know okay sell so point is there i don't know octo is there I, i don't know how cyber org is there i don't know anything because of community only i came to know okay these are the products is there in uh, there for our identity as a process management uh, we i have to learn a lot so uh, for that I, our community will be will be very help no will be much help for help for that i no i i, I understand this also not not stop it understand this is happening everyone is helping there everyone is posting our community chat is daily active so this is really good thing thank you very much raghavan and uh, with this i am done with my questions and uh, yeah <clears throat> one thing that you have mentioned right like i was helping and uh, i mean the community is helping that was me doing my part and with today's session you have really i feel you have uh definitely created a huge impact equivalent to what i have done to you i think this is what uh, giving back to the community means right so first of all thank you very much and i know how excited you were when you cleared the interview i know i was driving back home and then you called me and then you were talking to me for almost like 30 minutes explaining about uh, how after many interviews like you, you gave gave this and you were able to clear it um, but it could it's primarily 80% i'll say is because of your hunger and then your enthusiasm to learn uh, and that is where i want i mean i have been telling this to everyone right use this community selfishly yes selflessly give it back but use it selfishly so that you first set up your areas of interest learn as much as possible right but at the same uh, same time selflessly give it back okay so you have proved that and um members like you definitely motivates me and thank you very much raghavan again yeah sure sure definitely that's that's my responsibility david no problem thank you so another uh, member we have is ish uh, similar story but in different domain different company and i have known ish uh, almost equal and do when i have known raghavan uh, and one thing that i know that i still recall and i give this example to a lot of people is initially it came to me and then he wanted to switch for uh, some reason and i did a uh, initial evaluation when i was talking to him and i said is you are not ready even if you go and give the interview right you will fail so please wait and that went on and then i told him how he can fill those gaps so after a month or so when he used to learn something he'll be like ravi bhai do you think i'm ready i should give the interview and i'm like no wait i think second month is like no uh wait and then i think third month also i said wait uh then in between he did his training and then he really had uh, accumulated good <clears throat> knowledge and i think around that time he started giving interviews and uh, yeah what happened in that phase what was asked let's hear it from ish Uh, so ahead. hi uh, hi everyone so my name is ish and uh, i am i would be joining as a security service engineer in cyber arc and uh, prior to joining into the cyber arc i had uh, you know been into the multiple interviews as ravi mentioned right so these companies were uh, accenture you know deloitte ey and then uh, you know there were other multiple companies which you won't have heard of priority technologies as well so 
in this like as ravi uh, said like you know i was not prepared in the initial phase and then you know i started preparing so i would recommend first is that you know you need to have a formal training in uh, octa or any of the tool which you want to do it otherwise you know you won't be able to face all those questions in the interview because uh, you know they are going to ask you all the use cases as uh, you know you are going to show some experience in your resume so uh, you know i believe like all these interviews which i have given there is a flow for those interviews so what i have noticed is that uh, you know initially uh, they ask you about your introduction and from that introduction they expect you to give uh, the background of what you have done in your current job so since i was not into uh, any of the tool of access management and obviously i was faking a little bit so uh, you know they I, i i created an introduction and i gave the same introduction to every every place in the every interview so then they start asking you about the uh, you know something from your resume it's like uh, they'll ask you uh, whatever you have written inside your resume so for example in my resume it, it was there like you know i have worked on saml i have worked on oauth idc protocols and then i have worked on policies in octa basically so you know they'll start uh, grilling you on those protocols mostly and then uh, you know they'll ask you okay if you have saml then uh, you know you have to what is uh, idp initiated what is sp initiated flow how does it work what all points are there in that how do you configure it how uh, you know what is uh, you know metadata inside metadata what you have all those so entity id and all that stuff they start asking you so whatever you have written inside your resume you have to know about it uh and then you know i'm giving multiple interviews like you know uh, the best interview which went was for the deloitte itself because those guys you know they uh, i gave three rounds in deloitte and uh, you know th those three rounds really helped me a lot because you know all the interviews went the same like deloitte even the guys from the ey and even accenture guys you know uh, these guys they asked the same questions at the end so some of the use cases which i got was that uh, you know if you have worked on saml how are you going to integrate it like uh, you have to tell them the whole process taking an example and uh, then one of the use cases like you know if you are uh, you know if the user lands on some certain website uh, let's say salesforce.com so how does uh, you know the idp or the you know sp knows like you know where to take the user in to the which idp so that was a tricky question which was asked in deloitte for me and i was you know completely blank there because i didn't know about it then you know i started researching about it then i got to know okay this happens like you know if you are entering your email address so it takes you to that particular domain and then what uh, email address what idp is registered with that uh it you know takes you to that idp so uh and there are some questions like you know as uh, you know ragan ragavan mentioned like you know the basics so yes they do ask basics but for me like you know it was very little because uh, they asked us like what is saml what is oidc what are the authentication policies are there in in octa so stuff like that and uh, i believe like you know there were more use cases where uh, you know uh, they ask you about the apis like how do you implement apis what are the api security and in uh, priority technologies they did ask you they did ask me the scenario based questions where they asked about the least privileges as well so these were the questions can you mm. talk about like how do you structure the answer to a question where they say okay tell me about a use case what are the things you talk about in explaining that use case so i explain them using an example uh, like what i have done so what i did is like you know while giving all these interviews i got to know okay they are asking these uh, kinds of use cases so for example if we are doing oauth and oidc right so they ask the same thing like you know they ask the flow like how it is going to happen what kind of endpoints are there inside oidc oauth so once you know these so you have to prepare these use cases 
and uh, i took some help from chat gpt as well and i took uh, some help from sumit as well that you know what kind of use cases are there since i took formal training from sumit right so he guided me into the use cases part where uh, you know how to explain it how uh, you know you are going to tackle it so for example i got a use case where uh, and this question was asked in deloitte as well and ey as well and accenture as well uh, so that helped me a lot uh, the uh, use case was that you know if you have 100 applications to migrate how are you going to do it so what would be the your mindset to do it like you know what steps you are going to take so i told them like you know in initially in deloitte i said like okay we would be doing this 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 but uh, that was not satisfactory for them but you know the the guy from the deloitte he said like you know what he was expecting so basically he was expecting that you know you have to tell them uh, the importance and the phase of the application migration so you would segregate the firstly the important and the, you know doing the least uh impact to those applications and then you would be segregating those applications into uh, the importance how important it is and how much time is going to take to migrate so this was one of the use case which was asked in almost all the companies so this was the process which like this is how i to uh, you know tell about uh, the use cases ravi thank you and some of the challenges that you have faced during your preparation stage and so that people can be aware of that maybe from a resource perspective or knowledge base uh since uh, you know i took training from uh, you know sumit so i didn't find any issues you know with the resource part but yes with the use cases sometimes you know what happens is like uh, you know you uh, they are going to ask you something which is very deep like i said like you know uh, i didn't know about the domain routing stuff right in the, like how sp routes to the idp at that point you are stuck there so that is going to happen but that would come with the experience of you know giving multiple interviews and i would definitely recommend people you know giving interview into the big fours because those guys are definitely uh, you know good experience and they are uh, looking into people with good experience uh, with knowledge as, as well because uh, the good part for, uh, with them is that you know they would be giving you a good feedback and uh, they would be giving you answers as well uh, which they are expecting so that would increase your knowledge and that would uh, you know definitely help you with the other interviews because when this question from the deloitte came right and uh, this same question was asked in accenture as well and i got selected by giving this answer when the deloitte guy you know told me like oh this is the answer which i am expecting so accenture has the same question so that's why accenture uh, was also cleared by, by my end okay and in the end how many offers did you have i had four offers okay okay that's a quite an achievement is so one last question how do you want others right first is definitely how has this community helped you and how do you want others to use this community so ravi as uh, you mentioned like the community right so definitely you have helped me a lot as you said in starting right like i was really nothing like you gave me uh, you showed me actually a mirror like you know i didn't know anything and i was definitely not ready to you know uh, get into the im but you know seeing into the community seeing the questions what kind of questions community ask it it somehow gives you the uh, you know the view of use cases as well because there are people you know they are implementing like i saw gorav you know he was implementing uh, the integration between octa and pingfed so that is one of the use case which you could do on your own in your own lab so you know that helped me a lot you know there are people you know that gives you idea of uh, you know what kind of error people are getting so you do your own research and then you get to know okay this is also there this is i need to read or this i need to learn and then definitely you ravi that you guided me you even guided me like you know where to go that's why you know i joined i'm join, joining cyber arc now so this is how community helped okay and how can others utilize the community because that is one of the thing that i see right one yeah. thing i i really <clears throat> want to 
tell everyone is first is you all joining is really great uh, and motivated but at the same time right uh, people do look out for paid sessions and they are confused on how to start but then when you look at the free sessions that happens right in the beginning yeah. i have seen <clears throat> there has been an attendance of 30 40 that is the same mm -hmm. level of attendance again i really have no issues around the attendance and i do encourage people to join more but i don't see that uh, what do you call that hunger when it comes to learning but then people are very eager to go and give interviews and then fail and then try to figure out that what is not working them for for them right so mm -hmm. uh, that is where i really want people to talk encourage other people also because uh, yes, there was nothing like this, but if it is there, even now, if very less people utilize it, I mean, again, for them, I'll, me and the community members will continue doing it for them. But then something is already out there, right? They just have to come and drink yeah. the water. So it's, it's available. So how would you want people to utilize? Because I know there are a lot of people who have joined recently. So can you tell a few things which you did to grab uh, knowledge from the community that Definitely. So first thing is like, you know, ask lots and lots of questions, you know, look into the use cases, what people are doing and, you know, try to, uh, you know, learn and grasp those things. Secondly is for networking, definitely that, uh, you know, if you're doing the networking part, uh, you should definitely seek that. So you should ask multiple questions, you know, whatever doubt you have in that, you know, right that you should definitely ask you know you, you know you, you should use this community as a uh, chat gpt itself where you know you are seeking uh, multiple mindsets looking into you know asking a question to a multiple people at the same time so these two things you could definitely do to you know enhance your knowledge enhance uh, your interviewing experience you know knowing about the uh, like these sessions are there, right? Like, so, you know, we are giving you the knowledge and the insight of interview that would help you in, uh, you know, going further into the interviews. So this is how the community should be used. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I'll open up another five, 10 minutes for inputs from uh, all our other members. Mm -hmm. I see uh, we have a good amount of uh, seniors who have also yeah. joined, right? So uh, anyone, I see Alka is there, Praveen is there. Do you guys want to add anything, especially on the use case troubleshooting or one tip maybe from some of the other senior folks? Hello, Praveen. Hello, Praveen. Yes, yes, that just I wanted to share one thing only one with my, my experience only. Can I share my experience? Yeah, yeah go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, okay, okay. So, uh, actually, uh, the people who are like recently joined for them, just I wanted to tell you I have joined this community, uh, like before one year back. <clears throat> that time, also, I was uh, preparing for the interview, looking for any opportunity. And uh, I was continuously filling in the interview. And that time I found Ravi's contact on LinkedIn. I connected with Ravi and he suddenly responded to me on LinkedIn. He shared this contact number. Also, he arranged one session. And in that session, the same thing just now, I think some of him, he told like, you don't give interview now. Now you, now you are not that much of confident. So just spend time, one month, two months, prepare yourself mentally. And then you start into you. Otherwise, you will get demotivated again and again. So it is not going to be useful for you. So I listened, Ravi. Also, he added me in that uh, our uh, community. He asked me to uh, take some, do some session on sell point. So and for that session, I need to prepare. I have prepared a lot to give the session because it was my first uh, opportunity. I was giving like outside, and for that two session I have given. And for that, I have prepared a lot and that those sessions were successful. And after that, I got like a lot of confidence. And uh, after that, I have cleared many interviews after that. Now also, I'm just uh, just a time pass as a giving interview. 
last from one month i have cleared two interviews so that much of confidence i am getting i am not telling you i am not i am not an expert but uh, as ravi has given me this opportunity uh, to give this sessions also i am continuously communicating uh, with, with the people in the cell point groups i have many i have made many friends in the our groups and they are also helping me guiding me so that's it that's my experience with the community last one years it has changed my life and my like confidence so that's it ravi thank you thank you very much pravin and i will definitely want to add there were <clears throat> almost like five six seven people who used to reach out to me right from the sale point learning group and uh, one thing that would really make me proud is they'll say okay i was able to clear an interview or i um, got an offer from somewhere and pravin has been a really backbone in helping me and then uh, he used to answer whenever we used to call he has given some pre sessions to those guys so and again this is what pravin means to give it back and one thing that i always wanted is to is how i can propagate my thought process because maybe a year ago the thought process was if you go out people will only help you if you pay them right they'll only take trainings if you are actually paying them through a session all of this so i wanted to change the mindset that just spending one hour in a month can definitely change people's life and that can be free that can be uh, a service to the community that has uh, or or the domain that you have grown up learning right so now i see raghavan ish uh, ridish right uh, praveen alka and there are so many of them gorav puja right one by one uh, i i see these seeds becoming tree right and and again these guys are not coming and telling me there are people who are coming and telling me about how these guys have helped uh help them in their journey which which really makes me uh feel proud about how this community is moving forward so again thank you praveen for this so anyone else alka do you want to share some uh interview tips that you want others to follow or who do i have here Raveen, hi Priyanjali. Hey Ravi. Hello. And I mean, I just wanted to talk about Priyanjali also. One fine day, I still remember. I am I was doing some work, and then suddenly I get a message, and there was a phase in between. I think. around the month of july uh, june around august so i started i was getting a lot of things in linkedin on linkedin on my whatsapp that uh, again i gone through your video it helped me and then similarly priyanjali messages me that a long message suddenly out of nowhere from an unknown number <laughs> that i have gone through this all your zero to hero and i was able to clear the interview so thank you very much i mean this are some of the things that really uh makes me uh, going right one message even a month right so from a time where you are not doing anything at least last year i was helping but that to in my own personal capacity where if people used to come to me i've been helping from almost like 6 7 years right but that was one or two folks in a year but then this year i have spoken to 100 and then people like um priyanjali messages and then <laughs> and these are some of the things that you never expect right like something uh somewhere someone is using the videos that i created that to after 5 6 months of me creating it so yeah priyanjali i would really want to i mean i have never discussed about that we have discussed on some other engagements but i really want to understand your engagement primarily <clears throat> so that others can understand how you used that to kind of help you with your interview prep most certainly um of course thanks ravi for this platform and for all the videos of course so for me my struggle was uh, since as i told you that i'm coming from a different background i have 
exposure to different countries and this experience was very different for me when I came to India market and I was giving interviews, but I was not able to clear it. And uh, just as Raghavan mentioned that sometimes it's it's not the technical or the straight answer they want to hear. They want to understand what's my understanding on specific topics. So when I was going through your video, I was able to relate like um, how things need to be explained and, you know, what what the person is waiting to hear from me. And uh, I'll be very honest with you. I have been failing like 25, 30 interviews. And then one fine day I got this uh, interview call and I just saw your video and it was my next interview and that's the one which cleared. And uh, they they gave me the, the same package I asked for and things just went well and I got selected. So thank you very much for those videos because it really helps to understand all, all the concepts very clearly plus also what what is expected from the candidate. So yeah, this this community has helped me in many ways to understand. And uh, of course, people are so engaging and they share so much information. It's really helpful. So th thank you, everyone. Thanks, Ravi. Thank you very much, Pianjali. So yeah, I didn't knew it was that appropriate required for you <laughs> and on a timely manner <laughs> yeah yep, yep. it was it was like the perfect timing and the perfect job and things just happen so yeah yeah and <laughs> i feel i mean that is the power of um uh, of kind of creating something right when you have no expectation from anyone yeah it was just true, me true. sharing what i know for everyone and that's the core of the community my only reason of building this was okay i know i felt i know a lot of things and uh -huh. when i looked at other engineers i was like i mean i definitely i cannot go out and train people or tell them that they uh -huh. don't know stuff and i have been seeing this for many years and i was like let me put out whatever i know let me start talking to people and tell them where they are going wrong and yeah. that, that's the only intention behind this of course i mean I'll I'll be very honest with you. I am very active on many social platforms and I follow a lot of videos and there is not a single person who is really, you know, going ahead and trying to make a video specifically on identity access management. I mean, cybersecurity is, of course, a very big platform, right? But specific to the IEM roles, what are, are uh, the products that are there in the market and how these things are integrating, what's the API working for? I mean, these these details are very, very crisp and very straightforward. So I I, I didn't find anyone else doing that. <laughs> so it's probably you who's doing it for the first time. And um, I I really, really hope, you know, this, this reaches to many people and it multiplies in hundreds every month. So yeah, yeah I mean, all, all the best. <laughs> thank you very much, Priyanjali. And yeah, it'll grow. Good things take time, right? That's yep, why yep, I'm sure. I'm very much patient enough. And again, I really have no um, like kind of a numbers that I'm looking for. Like these many people should be attending the session or these many. Again, from the beginning till now, I know that when I started this group, I had to mm -hmm. forcefully request 16 of the <laughs> friends that I knew saying I'm creating a group. You guys be there. And one fine day when, I mean, it should not be an empty group, right? When people are joining it. Perfect. And I said, you guys be there. And then now I think we are almost 900 people. So this will grow. Awesome. And we are getting some global visibilities also. And uh, yes, there are a lot of things. Now we are, as a community, we are expanding some of our um, things that we were doing. We were doing community sessions and uh, we did... Uh, do a meetup now we are doing getting into events from the bangalore once you will see i mean a proper structured event we have people yeah. also coming in from us uh to awesome. attend the event so yeah a lot of things happening on the back end uh from next week onwards you'll suddenly start seeing registration uh links launch videos uh events speakers uh the sponsors it will start from next week so Bangalore's event is definitely going to be 
uh, one of the hot thing in the market, at least in the month of November. Um, <laughs> then we are also I'll doing... I'll be waiting for Mumbai then. <laughs> yeah, Mumbai is next year. We will ah, definitely okay. be there. We are targeting four Very cities, great. Delhi, uh -huh. Mumbai, Bangalore, and Hyderabad. We're in Hyderabad. We're doing uh, Bangalore and then Mumbai next year. So, yeah. And then we, as you know, I do podcast. I actually have almost four to five archives, but my laptop is down from almost two weeks. I'm not able to upload any of them. I'm waiting. Hopefully next week I should have my laptop. Then you start uh -huh. listening to podcasts also. And uh, one really think i mean something that we wanted to start from a long time and i really have got two folks who have joined me on this initiative is product evaluation okay so moving forward uh -huh. maybe from november if you guys have seen there are a lot of youtube videos talking about various product unboxing their feature new releases and all this right but there is nothing on the im side so that is what <laughs> we are going to do okay so you'll get to know about which product is better or what type, what use case, what are the new releases, all of that. So you will see, I mean, again, the Why Not IM is more expanding into events, sessions, uh, podcast, and product evaluation. These are the four things that we are, you will see us doing very frequent and we have separate teams running all of this. And right now I have around, I think, 25 people in the community, the admins, actual admins helping on the back end, um, working to do all the events to manage the meetups, to manage product evaluation, podcasts. Yeah, for now I'm managing podcasts on my own, but we'll also have a team there. So yeah, I mean, next year is going to be uh, crazy in terms of what we'll be doing as a community. So yeah, stay tuned, guys. Fine. Thanks, so, Rahul. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much, Pianjali. So uh, there is one question. I'll open this to Ish um, or anyone, Raghavan uh, from Keithana. So what was your preparation structure? Anyone who wants to answer. Yeah, go ahead, Raghavan. Yeah, Ravi. So preparation structure for first, like, you know, uh, set, set up uh, like what are the basic things we have, you know, first prepare yourself. What are the basic things you have to gain the knowledge? For example, there is a protocol is there. Protocol is the main thing in the every interview. There will be definitely there will be a two plus you no know, two plus protocols questions definitely. So you no know, first for example, list out the protocols. What are the you know, what are the protocols mostly using, and what are the protocols is there in market. So prepare a list, then check what are the protocols you have to gain the knowledge. What are the things you already know? If you don't know also gain the knowledge. So like that, uh, take a list of yourself. What are things you know, you know, what are the things you don't know. So before that, uh, you know, you have to find what are the things is basic for our domain. Uh, you know, uh, there, will, there is a, you know, uh, uh, you know, there is a open sources there. Uh, you can check anywhere, like what are the uh, uh, mostly asking questions in the interviews. There is open sources there. You can check there or you can check with our community as well. Or Ravi is there. So I would suggest take a list of yourself. What are the things you have to gain your knowledge and the basics. So based on that, you can you know, learn yourself and you know, gain your knowledge. Thank you. Uh, Kirtana, do you, want, do you have any follow-up question on this? <coughs> Follow up questions, yeah. First, first thing, yeah, like, uh, you know, uh, what is what, that is what is open ID, what is the difference between what or open, no, uh, OIDC, and what is authorization and authentications, what is different between these, what is uh, MFA, what is SSO, what is different between MFA and SSO, what is APA, what is the use of APA, what is RBAC, how it is working. And then how to on, on, on board the application, what are the things we have to uh, uh, know, uh, configure to complete uh, application uh, setup. For example, the, the grant type, response type is there. There will be reference to some application we have the reference token. So which, which what are the applications can come under the service application? What are the can applications that come under the applications? Uh, then what is if it's a as yes, a ping pattern definitely there will be a what is SP and what is uh, IDP what is the use of certificate 
uh, now uh, how now how uh, what is the use of directory how does directory is working so these are the questions of basics uh, which is in mostly these questions will be on every interviews uh, then mainly if it's a pink it definitely work the pcv how is the how does the pcv is working uh no, the the main thing we should know flow of all these things so we do not just say like what the, this is how this is working we have to know how we have to speak about the configuration that if that is having the configuration definitely we have to speak up so that is one key point to boost our you know the impress the interview uh one thing i would like to add is like you know they definitely ask about the grant types like you know what are the different grant types and how are they being used like you know they ask you like you know in which application which grant type you have implemented like one is for the desktop and another is for the mobile so which one is for mobile and which one is for desktop which is suitable so definitely they definitely ask this so you you definitely need to know about this and in detail not to just uh, above the you know just not the basics but in detail like you know where you have to implement what okay thank you ish thank you raghavan yeah so any other questions from anyone you can put it on the chat you can unmute yourself and ask the question we have maybe another 5 minutes yeah keep them anything hi hi everyone i'm the newest member of this community so uh, i just want to ask one question So I didn't start preparing for my interview yet, but how much of a you study or how much of you go through the concept and then you know all the uh, all all the minute concepts uh, and protocols. So do you do you all whoever has gone through the interview process and then got the offer? Do you guys have always have that sense that you know. Uh, the this preparation is not enough or you know you always sense like no uh, the whatever i have studied it's not clear in my mind uh, you know you have to go through again you, you do you have that under confidence so i just want to ask this questions because i always have that i have like uh, been through this process almost a month now so uh, you know i'm keep uh, reading all the concepts i keep reading all the you know uh, um, all the questionnaires but still i feel like okay uh, you know it's not clear in my head it's not uh, it's not you know it's not up to the bar so do you guys also feel the same way uh definitely yes like still i feel like you know there are some uh, areas which i lack into for example uh, in interviews many interviews i had been asked about apis so i started studying about apis and all that stuff but since you know the the lack of use cases and because we don't implement that much of apis anywhere right so i always felt like you know uh, there is not adequate resources to it but then i started exploring it myself you know doing it like almost like one one and a half month of research doing the you know stuff which uh, you know through github i went i downloaded all the projects and everything so yes definitely we do have this like you know we feel uh, that it's not there but you have to somehow cover it up you know you have to explain you know you know you have to uh, frame that in your mind like you know what you have to say if someone ask you this and it should be convincing one and it leads uh, you know you you would need a lot of practice just to uh, mug up some things hey hey hi all so hey hi ravi so atul this side so i recently joined this community around a uh, two month ago so okay. i was i have the like technical knowledge of iam but i have never given any interview on iam so i i was like the same question i had as kirtana is so like if i give the interview what they will ask and what are different things they can ask Uh, so i just uh, joined this community and start watching the videos that is uploaded on youtubes and uh, after like uh, uh, like uh, joining this community and getting help from all the people within a one month uh, i had like cleared all the interview that i have given and currently i have four offer letter within a one month so yeah the 
content uh, Rabi had provided on YouTube, it is pretty much clear. And uh, after watching all that, uh, you can like you have uh, some idea like uh, what question they will ask and uh, how to express or how to explain that answer to an interviewer. So yeah, I think uh, you can go with that content that YouTube like Ravi has uploaded on YouTube. Thank you, Atul, and congratulations. This was a new story yeah, for me. Thank you. And yeah, it's yeah, great, Ravi. inspiring. Yeah, Ravi, so, so I have to add some points from my end, which yeah, is Ketna asking. That is a, the, you know, the modern question. We have to give the tips to our team members, everyone. So yeah, first come, when I, you know, when I not, uh, no, uh, not selected in the first company. So I also feel the same. You know, okay, I have worked with a lot of things in our current organization. I thought, okay, I have worked a lot. I, I know, I, I, I know a lot. I can crack the interview like that. I thought I, you know, I went to the interview and attend the interview, but I not selected. So I feel that okay, uh, that's the same thing. I discourage myself, but, but, but one thing, every interview you will know. Come, you know, after the interview, you come to know, okay, these are the things I have to improve and these are the things I have to learn new. There will be some new questions as well. There will be definitely, there will be some new questions apart from our knowledge. There will be that the words we may, uh, you know, hear the first time from the interview. We don't know about that. So that are, that are the kind of the key points, you know. Uh, don't stop it there. Don't discourage yourself. Yeah, for me and everyone will, you know, also the same. First time that will be like that. Then, but don't stop there. Uh, just uh, you know, analyze the you know, uh, remember the interview. What are the questions asked? Then feel what are the things you have to improve. What are the things you know we have to learn new. So go and do effort, learn. Uh, then attend the interview. Then there will be. For example, for me, first company, I even I also feel okay. Not did well. I I did very bad. So, but the second company, EY, I feel, okay, I did something good. Compared with the previous interview, I did some more good in EY. Uh, then that also, you know, not selected. Then finally, Accenture and TCS. Uh, for Accenture and TCS also, I got offer because of Accenture, I joined. After only the TCS released offer, so I'm unable to join TCS. So after that, Accenture and TCS, I did well. Uh, I, I was satisfied myself, okay. I, I was feel like, okay, I did well. Uh, maybe the I, I may select it like that. I always get the confidence. So because of I never stopped the you no know, stopped myself where I failed. I came came here came again here. I you know I watched the videos and learned myself. I take notes. I did a lot of efforts. So this is kind this is kind of you know uh, key points. Thank you very much, Raghavan. So anything else from anyone? Yeah, Ravi, so no, I just want yeah, to yeah, add go one thing. Yeah, uh, please. Sorry, I just missed, you know, I uh, forgot to no, no, inform no, from you. Uh, that is, you know, uh, after uh, John onboarding is completed in Accenture, there was a one more interview that is especially for the project. Uh, so after that project, yeah, that also I cracked and I did, and I did well. So after that project, I you know I uh, sent with a new role that is SME. No, I just got a little promotion to SM. Great, great. I mean, what all good news that I'm getting today. This is what you call, right? Victory over evil. <laughs> so all the negatives has gone out and then you guys have evolved as again an expert and then you have so many good offers. And uh, yeah, continue doing this. Continue giving back to the community and just have one motive that whatever you have just put it out over there for people to consume and grow. It, it really gives you that uh, sense of satisfaction, that sense of purpose that uh, I, I really lacked in my life. And this community is, is the primary reason why I feel that now I have a purpose. So with that, I really want to thank you, Ish, Raghavan, uh, Priya, for your experience, Atul, for sharing your experience, Praveen, and everyone who has joined. So let's connect tomorrow for another session. Uh, till then, good night, take care, and have a great rest of the evening. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.